In the last video, we showed you our editing process, and once we're happy with that result, we head over to YouTube and start the upload process. And we leave it public to begin with. It's not public until you actually publish it. And then it'll ask us for the actual video. So I've got to go to a different one here. We upload our H.264 format. And then it starts uploading. While it's uploading, we have very slow internet. We change the title. So this is best bang for your buck. And then in our settings, we have our descriptions to autofill with our newsletter, our Patreon campaign, and our social media and blog. Uh, you can do that in the channel settings section of your dashboard. So the things you want to pay attention to are the keywords that you're using in your title and the keywords that you're using in the first two sentences of your description. Because remember when a person searches for a video or sees your video in the suggestion engine, it's going to show the title and then just the beginning of your description. It's not going to show the whole thing. So you want to be sure that you properly explain your video in the first two sentences of your description. So both potential humans that are going to be watching it and search engines can see what the video is about. Then it's time to add tags and by default we've saved our template so that it adds Mike and Lauren to every video so that when people search for Mike and Lauren our videos pop up and then we just go to town writing whatever remotely relates to the topic of our video. So in this case, in this video, we covered everything from self-improvement to getting a promotion at work by learning a new language, uh, exploring your creativity, setting New Year's resolutions. We'll usually add between 10 and 30 tags, whatever really suits the video. Next, you want to make sure your video is public or if you want to unlist it or keep it private or schedule it, that's something that you can do. We usually are on a time crunch and just make them public as soon as they're done. And then finally, we add them to the playlist. So if it's a DIY video, I'll put it in Mike Makes. If it's about money, we'll put it in Money. If it's just a vlog or an update and so on. We have all of these playlists pre-saved and pre-built so that we just check where that video goes. So this one would be about money. Then we upload our custom thumbnail. And finally, this is important that you wait until the video is finished processing. So here at our house, we have extremely slow DSL internet, so you're not going to be able to see this uh, happen today. But after it's finished uploading, it's going to change to what's called processing. And that processing is important that you wait till the very end, because if you don't, your custom thumbnail is not going to show, and it's not going to show your video in all of the possible resolutions. It's going to start with a very low resolution video. And when people see it in their subscription feed, they're going to click it and it's going to be lower resolution and it's going to be an uh, inferior experience to a high definition video. One last thing we always check is to make sure that the video is monetized. Uh, occasionally these will just randomly get unchecked on their own so you want to make sure that. Uh, in advanced settings we usually keep all of our videos in how to and style but we've also done people in blogs. I don't think this has very much impact on your video. We always allow embedding, we always allow comments and we just give it the standard YouTube license. Once the video is uploaded, we'll stick around to make sure we're there to answer comments from the very first viewers, and then we start the process of self-promotion, which we've discussed in a previous video.